Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is Vicki Wong, and I'm a grade four or five teacher at Dr. R. E. McKechnie Elementary. Um, today we are here to talk a little bit about um, both um, my experience with the um, Canadian um, Teachers Institute on Parliamentary Democracy, as well as um, the wonderful things that we have had since my um, visiting um, this place in Ottawa. Um, first with us though are uh, two of my students uh, in grade four and grade five. They will introduce themselves. Hello, I am William and uh, I'm in grade four. Hello, my name is Abigail and I'm in grade five. So um, the Canadian Parliamentary um, Teachers Institute on uh, Democracy is an annual um, professional development opportunity for teachers across Canada um, to um, participate um, at Parliament um, on the Hill, um, our capital city, um, uh, and meet uh, legislators and uh, parliamentarians and really get a better understanding of what really goes on um, in our capital city and with the governing of our country. Well, how were you selected to go to Parliament? Well, I happened to see the application uh, come through um, an email through, um, I believe it was my professional group, and I thought, oh gosh, um, that would be really uh, interesting to try at the federal level because in 2016 I had the um, pri privilege of uh, um, attending the uh, similar one in Victoria for our provincial government. So, how was your visit at the Parliament? Uh, one highlight was I got to um, uh, basically an hour and a half meeting with Senator Tony Dean and um, uh, he actually um, uh, he's an Ontario independent senator he told us about his daily activities and the things he's working on and one thing that um, I posed to him was a question from our class and that question was how does the um, secure how to do the security systems in Canada, such as the RCMP and CSIS and Border uh, Patrol and um, cyber policing, how are they actually police themselves? Because many of these organizations don't have an outside oversight group. Um, they just basically police themselves. And he told me that that was really great timing on our half because um, Bill C-59 is exactly a bill that they're putting through Parliament right now. If you go to the website, you will actually see what's going on with it, what reading's happening. Um, and it addresses exactly that topic. Um, so that was very cool to um, have him share um, that with us. Um, on another day, we got to um, go to Rideau Hall, which is, of course, the home of the Governor General. And uh, we were very fortunate. She was there, and she actually came and talked to us and um, was really keen in uh, engaging teachers in connecting with um, um, the Governor General's office, um, amongst others. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, another thing, we got to see the question period in the House of Commons, and that was very exciting, and I never let you guys behave like that. It's way too wild and crazy. <laughs> um, so that was fascinating. And uh, we also had a surprise visit when we were in the Senate. Um, our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, First time ever a Prime Minister has actually come and talked to the Teachers Institute. Um, he came in and he gave us a half hour Q&A. A take home from this was the parliamentarians, they were all so down to earth, like just very, very nice, super hardworking people. And the fact that they were so appreciative of teachers. And I guess a final thing I have to, and you guys already know already, um, we were able to be part of this incredible pilot project with the Governor General called EGG and December 17th at 10.35 in the morning we actually spoke to um, Her Excellency um, Julie Payette, our Governor General um, from Ottawa and um, the class got to ask her a number of different questions so that was truly very very cool. Um, and then finally just uh, this year Senator um, Yona Martin came to our school and spoke so that was another incredible highlight. My, my question to you guys now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so our class here at McKechnie Elementary um, also recently had a live Skype interview, as I mentioned before, with Governor General, Her Excellency Julie Payette. Um, what um, what questions did you um, have her answer for you? 
Um, so the questions that I asked mm -hmm. um, were about our tomato sphere program and if she had like any like thing to do with it or if she's ever seen it up in space and she answered that she did see them in space. I and I asked the questions um uh, two of them and the second one that I asked was what was it like being in zero gravity? I think that she said it felt like kind of strange being weightless, like you are supposed to be falling but you actually do not fall. Um, and I guess another question would be, um, overall, what did you think of having the chance to talk to the Governor General? It was completely exhilarating, like extremely exciting, and of course, once in a lifetime opportunity. How about you, Abby? What, what did you I feel the exact same, same way. way. Yeah, yeah. And a part of this whole Teachers Institute and, and the theme this year, the 22nd one, um, was all about engage, engagement and engaging everybody including obviously teachers and accordingly their students and classes so i mean what better way than to have the governor general come right into your classroom basically via skype our class also had a very special visit from senator yona martin um what did you learn about what a senator does huh. i learned that senators for example approve laws mm -hmm. and they do many more things i learned that they also have they're also like representatives and they represent different parts of the country and uh, they also make sure that everyone has equal rights and everyone has everything that they need to have. Yeah. Um, another question I have is, do you think you might want to be a senator one day or one of your favorites? Um, uh, well, mm -hmm. I think that politics is not my exact interest. I'm mostly over engineering and physics, so I think that, yeah, I would definitely love to see the Senate because that would be, like, totally amazing. But I think I'd more be fit to be an engineer. Mm, or perhaps one day. Who knows? I mean, Senator Martin was a teacher for many years. If you were an engineer for many years and then got appointed to uh, the Senate to uh, give that kind of perspective, right? You never know, right? How about you, Abby? Um, well, um... Not leaning towards in the Senate direction. <laughs> I'm at, um, I think it's a really cool job, but um, yeah, and I also think I'm moving towards being a lawyer. Okay, there you go. Well, again, just like I said too, well, you could be a lawyer for many years, and then you could also become like a senator too if you were interested. Yeah.